Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about snail chart. So we will be looking at the snail charts. So before we continue, kindly like, share and subscribe to my channel. I am Dr. Hanwin. So I welcome you so much on my channel. Let us learn together and leave your comment and like the video. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. So before we continue, we will see the outline of the video uh, of the topic today. So the outline of my topic today is one, we are going to, to look at what is this snail chart. And then two, we will look at the types of snail chart. And then we also look up on parts of the standard snail chart. Later, we we'll look at the readings and the recording on the snail chart. Finally, we will look at the application and the uses of a snail chart in either in TB clinic and eye clinic simultaneously. So let's start by defining what is this snail chart. Snail chart is a, a, is a visual chart that is used to measure visual activity and named after the Dutch uh, ophthalmologist called Heyman Snail. So let's look at the second one. What types of snail chart? We have two types of snail chart. The first one is a standard uh, a snail chart, which is uh, commonly used in uh, all facilities because it's uh, easily, easy to access and easy to read. Then it's also uh, consists of letters that are uh, arranged in decreasing uh, manner. So they are arranged in rows. Normally there are 11 rows. Then uh, are these letters and uh, large letters on the top and the uh, smallest on the bottom. And then usually they are not, uh, most of the uh, charts I've seen, they are not all letters. Some of the charts are, uh, 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 are figures. So this is a sample of snail chart. So let's look at uh, the second one, second snail chart. It's called Lokma chart. Stand, uh, Lokma means gradient uh, of the minimum angle of resolution. So this is uh, a, an improvement of snail chart, a standard snail chart. So uh, it's just an improvement of the snail chart and uh, it has a, a, a very precise uh, measurement of visual acuity. The chart also uses letters and uh, or figures that are arranged in a decreasing manner, but then the size of the, uh, the letters fixed they are not like in snail chart. So they represent, in, uh, they are fixed and they always represent uh, artificial acuity when measured. This is a sample of snail chart. So let's look at the parts of the snail chart, specifically standard snail chart. So um, this is a sample of the part of snail charts that are representing the letters. And, uh, or it can be, we say that it can be also a uh, figures or symbols. The second one is a part for grading in meters. Then the a third one is a grading in, uh, in uh, uh, feet. Then um, the fifth one, fourth one is the um, normal range of the snail chart which is usually um, 20 out of uh, 25 out of 20 or 20 out of 20. Uh, or 6.5, 6 out of 6.5 to 6 over 6. Let's look at reading and recording snail charts. Now the patient stands at a distance of 6 meters facing the snail chart or six, uh, 20 feet. So the normal distance here we say that is 20 feet or 6 meters and uh, the patient always uh, uh, covers one eye and reads loudly uh, while standing on the, uh, the front of the snailchart. So after, and this is a sample of how you can record in a snailchart. If the patient is able to read E in on row, the first row, always you score as, is score as 20 out of 200. If the patient is able to read only uh, the first letter. If the patient is able to read the second letters 
all the secondary letters F and P on the second row. You will uh, if able to read F and able to read P. The score is uh, 20 out of 100 or 6 out of 30. If the patient is able to read uh, a T, Z only in the third row and uh, unable to read O, but for example, a patient is able to read T, able to read O, unable to read O, and then able to read the, uh, Z, the score of the patient will be. Uh, 20 out of 70 minus 1 or 6 out of 30 minus 1. If the patient is able to read um, L, P and B on the uh, fourth row and unable to read E, uh, for example, patient is able to read L, able to read B, able to read E, able to read D and unable to read E, so normally you score the patient as 20 out of 50 minus 1 or 6 out of 15 minus 1. Now if the patient is able to read uh, P, C and D and able to read E and F on 5th row. So able to read P, read E, read uh, O, C again, and then able to read F and able to read F. And then able to read B. The score of the patient will always be 20 out of 40 minus 2 or 6 out of 12 minus 2. Then if the patient is able to read E, F and Z unable to read um, D, C and P on the sixth row, you'll if able to read E, unable to read D able to read F, unable to read C, able to read Z, unable to read P, the score of the patient will be 20 minus or uh, 20 out of 40 or, or 6 out of 12. Why? Because the patient is unable to read at least two uh, letters on the, uh, on the row. So if the patient is, is is unable to read at uh, more than two letters on the row, and then the, uh, you probably uh, score the patient with the, the upper previous row, like this example. Let, now let's look at the application of the snail chart, application of the snail chart, and uh, uses at the same time. The first application is uh, eye examination in eye clinic. So where it's used to, uh, during a, a routine eye examination of the patients to determine the, uh, uh, the clarity of the uh, pers person's visual acuity. Now the second one, this is an example of doctor examining the patient. The second one is a diagnosis of visual problem. It's used to in diagnosing a visual problem like uh, this are uh, the problem that are led by the vision, including age related uh, problems, uh, molecular, a molecular a macular uh, generation problem. And then the third one is monitoring uh, visual changes during treatment, like in, in during TB treatment, probably the DRTB treatment. So uh, we will see which drugs specifically causes a DRTB, a visual impairment or visual acuity problem. The first drug that is um, mostly causes the visual acuity problem is linezolid. The second drug can be the Then third can be uh, I will call it uh, um, isoniazid, and then fourth one it can be um, this is uh, a capital, and then the last one it can be pyrazinamide. These, these are uh, most of the drugs that causes uh, visual impairment in people with TB. So let's look at the the. Uh, uh, Another application is where it's used in 
driving license in examination of people who are uh, uh, graduating with a driving license. So it's also applied in individual who has uh, any uh, problem during driving so that you can uh, 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 come out with those who have maybe problem in visual.